Hello everyone, we are BCAQ 6th sem and today we are going, we have learned about various concepts in cloud. So uh, we have learned about what are data centers, basically how cloud works. There are various examples of cloud like Google cloud, Amazon cloud and Azure cloud, how these cloud works. For that, we have learned about various concepts like how, what is virtualization, what are types of virtualization. Virtualizations have mainly three types, server virtualization, network virtualization, and storage virtualization. We are using hypervisors for server virtualization, which will... We are using type 1 hypervisor, that is ESXi, uh, through VMware. Uh, this virtual machine uh, is accessed by this admin, and also storage virtualization is accessed by this machine. Okay. Which uh, one is your ESXi server? This one. This one is your ESXi server? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you are using ESXi for server virtualization? Yes, sir. Right? And uh, for a storage virtualization? This one. For a storage virtualization? Yes, sir. For storage, we are using TrueNAS, which is uh, here. And uh, we are accessing the storage server and the VS ESXi in this laptop by by copying the UAA. IP By address. The, uh, URL. I, yes, sir. URL. And in the true NAS. Okay, can I check it? Yes. Okay, fine. This one is your uh, ESXi server access. Yes. ESXi server. And at this server, what is this? This is one client machine. Sir, this is yeah. the Windows 7 machine which client we will machine. provide to VM. client. Virtual machine. Yes, sir. Okay. And this is? This is a storage server. A storage uh, we are server. providing storage of 10 GB to our client by using uh, TrueNAS. By using TrueNAS. Okay. Well, TrueNAS operating system has been used to create a uh, storage virtualization. Yes, sir. Fine. Uh, you have created a uh, uh, sorry, storage pool? Yes, sir. First, I have created a storage pool uh, mm -hmm. from here. Uh, we have uh, 200 of total uh, GB of storage, okay. but our client only need 10 GB. So, so uh, you have created a 200 GB storage pool and in this pool, uh, have you used one single hard disk or multiple hard disks? Uh, I have used uh, two hard disks. Two hard disks, fine. With 100, 100 this, you GB. have created uh, one storage pool of uh, 200 GB approx. Yes. Sir. And uh, from this storage pool, you have given 10 GB space to the client, client machine. Yes. Which one is client? Client uh, is uh, there. Client is uh, existing at this uh, yes, uh, server. Yes, uh, server. Yes, exactly. yes, exactly. yes, sir. Fine. Uh, and, uh, Basically, this is a laptop, so that is why we are using a simple Windows 7 machine with okay. 2 GB of configuration. Okay, fine. And this is our virtual cloud machine. Client machine. Client machine. Yeah, you are using here. Yes, sir. This is your Windows 7 machine? Yes, sir. How can I trust you? We can see the storage here. Okay. You are also accessing this machine through the web browser? Yes, sir. Fine. I'm just going to see. Okay. Fine. 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 Okay. Okay, fine. This is your Windows 7 machine. And at this machine, <coughs> your actual storage is your actual storage is not uh, 200 GB. This is 10 GB. Means the basic disk you have used at this machine is of 10 GB only. Yes. And you have taken yes, sir. 10 GB extra storage. Yes, sir. Extra storage from this NAS. From this NAS operating system. Yes. Fine. So overall. Uh, as we think that uh, cloud is used to provide uh, IT resources, including all, uh, through any web page, through the public network, through the web browser, anything you can say. So you have just created a small cloud-like infrastructure and you are accessing your uh, server, your storage through the web browser. Yes, yes. Sir. Okay, so very good. Thank you. Thank you.